this is Alyssa Amendola from DECA and you're watching Tribal Review. The Industrial Technology Program competed in districts last week. We'll have more details coming up. Also in the broadcast, we'll find out people's favorite Marvel movie in this week's TomTom Tom Talk. All this and more coming up on Tribal Review. Big Frog, you can set up your online pop-up shop full of custom apparel. You can design a whole line of apparel, select your sale price, and customize how long your pop-up shop lasts. Visit our store at 2100 East Jackson Drive, Independence, to set up your pop-up shop today. Come to Descano's to get your pizza customized the way you want, served to you right from our wood fire stove. Let Renee and John treat you to a taste of Little Italy, located at 312 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. Hey Fort Osage High School, I'm Kelsey Stobart. May is National Strawberry Month. Go pick some strawberries from the store, the garden, or get a strawberry refresher from Starbucks. And I'm Zachary Erickson. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, 2019, and here are your top school news stories. The students involved in the Industrial Technology Program competed in districts on Friday, April 26th. The students moving on to the state competition are Samantha Migat and Ar architectural hand drafting, Tevin Ford in mechanical hand drafting, Roman Tinoco in wood turning, Anthony Boydston in bench metals, and Elisa Hill in electronics. The class of 2019 graduates on Friday, May 10th, 2019 at the Community of Christ Auditorium. Doors open at 6 p.m. and graduation starts at 7 p.m. The Kindness Kansas City is an essay writing challenge for sophomores. Tribal Reviews Madison Ryman caught up with some of the students who earned finishes in the contest. If you get in the top 20, you get invited to a banquet during May. Eileen loves that her mom's friend is doing good things. I decided to write about him because I thought it was really inspiring on how he um, went to Puerto Rico to help his family. Puerto Sage students got in the top 20. 17 of our students got in the top 100. Diego finds his teacher is a very caring person. Something happened and I didn't know who to talk to and she saw me. She saw that I was feeling down because usually I'm happy and energetic and she told me she sat me down and she was like I know there's something wrong with you you can talk to me whenever you feel like you're ready to talk and I didn't even talk to her till like a whole two days later when I when it just kept on weighing me down and I was like that was that's a good person to write about. English 2 students have been writing the Kindness Can City in paper for four years. Dr. Lingabach was honored that some of her students decided to write about her. That was really nice. I work hard. Um, a lot of my kids come in and they are not all that jazzed about reading and they don't have a lot of confidence as writers and I work hard to build them up more than anything else and then the academic skills kind of come on their own. So, very pleased. All English 2 sophomores write the Kind of Skin City and reporting for Trouble Review, this is Madison Ryman. Thanks Madison. Coming up we'll talk about Von Young's prestigious award. Stay online with us. We'll have more after this break. Culver's wants to welcome you to deliciousness. Choose from a variety of concretes, chicken strips, and crinkle cut fries that are said to be a Butter Burger's best friend. These meals and more will be prepared by Culver's welcoming staff. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time since 1984. Come in or carry out and let them serve you your next delicious meal. Welcome back. This is the first time in school history the Buck Buchanan Award was won by varsity football player Vaughn Young. Reporter Raiden Fraking visited with Vaughn and others to find out how they felt about the honor. Yeah, that's pretty much the game here. Look, Vaughn Young Far. with the pressure with the big, oh, big sack by Vaughn Young. That's what his third time Vaughn Young played. received the 2018 Buck Buchanan Memorial Award. He believes it was a team effort in getting the award. Having my name next to the other guys that have had it, um, it feels really good. Uh, all those guys, they work really hard on and off the field, and uh, credits go out to the teammates just because um, I wouldn't be where I am today without them. Young had a total of 107 combined tackles on the season. Giovanni Willis believes Vaughn has more than earned his awards. He was just a leader, like, all around. He helped everybody, like, even the younger kids. He always, like, stepped out of his way to go help them. Or he was, like, like, even with me, he had helped me, like, during practice. I don't like practice. He, like, talked to me and stuff. 
and help me push through practice and all that. He had six sacks and five hurries on defense. Ty Baker believes Young is a leader on and off the field. I think he had a great season. Uh, definitely was a leader of our team, uh, leader on and off the field, and contributed to, and contributed to our team a lot. Uh, he was a great communicator in defense, great leader out there, uh, showing the young, a lot of the young guys, telling them what to do and helping them out. And then he also came and played offense, which helped us in the run game and uh, pass game too as well. Ron Young is committed to play football at Missouri State University. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Raiden Frakey. Thanks, Raiden. Miana now joins us with this week's sports report. Hey, Miana, I hear the boys' golf team made school history. That's right. I'll have the details along with your Indian sports recap on the other side of this break. TLC Automotive is a local, fast, and great way to get your car fixed. TLC offers oil changes, brake checks, vehicle inspections, and much more. Contact Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Mariner Collision is an excellent place to get any dents, scratches, or total cars fixed like new in a timely manner. The Carinders take pride in all work with every car, every time. Get your car repaired at Carinder Collision located at 440 East Monroe Street, Buckner, Missouri. Hey everybody, I'm Yana Wilson with your Indian Sports Report. For the first time in school history, the boys golf team won the Wyatt Suburban Conference Championship. The team took first place on Monday, April 22nd at the Fred Arbanis Golf Course in Kansas City. Malachi Torres won the individual conference championship by shooting a 97 with this score. He qualifies for the sectional tournament this week at Tiffany Green's Golf Course. The girls' varsity soccer team had two big road wins over the past two weeks. The girls defeated Raymore Peculiar 4-3 on April 24th. It took the Indians two overtimes to beat the Panthers. Ali Ayala and Megan Lyon each scored two goals. The team then won over Belton 4-0 on April 26th. Ayala and Lyon again led the charge, scoring two goals each. The team stands at 8-0 in conference and 15-1 on the season. The varsity baseball team completed play in the Northland Tournament last week with an 8-2 6 loss to Kearney, a 6-4 loss to St. Pius X, and an 11-2 loss to Park Hill South. The team bounced back with a 6-1 win over Oak Park. Vaughn Young led the charge with a two-run homer, and Ethan Gotch and Ben Long each batted a run-in as well. Trey Lockard earned the win from the mound, surrendering one run on one hit over seven innings while striking out six North men. The team stands at 7-13 and 13 on the season. The boys' tennis team shut out Ruskin 9 to nothing on April 19th. The Indians then lost to North Kansas City 9 to nothing on April 25th. The team's overall record is 2-8 and eight on the season. Girls track runner Amari Grimes competed in the Kansas Relays at the University of Kansas on April 19th. She finished 4th out of 36 in the 400 meter dash. The boys and girls track teams hosted 13 high schools at the Fort Osage Throwers Showcase on April 23rd. The girls finished 5th with 12 points. Mallory Huber and Alicia Monday tied for 2nd in the discuss with throws of 112 feet 5 inches to lead the Indians. The track and field teams then competed at the Park Hill Invite on April 25th. The girls finished 7th out of 8 teams. Ardasia Fenner took 1st in the triple jump and took 3rd in the high jump. Mallory Huber came in 2nd in the discuss while Kelly Copperidge took 3rd in the triple jump. Amari Grimes finished 2nd in the 400 and 3rd in the 100. The boys came in 7th out of 7 teams. Gavin Monday finished 2nd in the 100 and 400 meter runs. Zeppelin, Zeppelin Velder took 2nd in the long jump and Colin Cameron Lick came in 2nd in the pole vault. <laughs> That's it for your Indian Sports Report. I'm Yana Wilson. Kelsey and Zach will have more news after this break. Watch the Fort Osage High School baseball team drive in runs on KFOI Sports. Check out the NFHS Network where high school sports lives at nfhsnetwork.com for upcoming live events. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. With the recent release of Marvel's Avengers Endgame, Tristan Carinder went around the school to find out what your favorite Marvel movie is. Realized I loved you. 
new Marvel movie, Endgame, came out on April 26th. I went around the school to find out about everyone's favorite Marvel movie. The original Spider-Man because it's just a good movie. Infinity War, and I like it because all the culmination of characters and all the development for it. Iron Man because he's a god. Ant-Man because it's so like interesting, like it's just action. I like Iron Man because it's cool. Avengers Infinity War uh, because uh, because like all the characters that was in that, I like how they came together and stuff. Original Spider-Man franchise, the tri uh, the trilogy, because I liked uh, how it went through the whole entire story. Um, I think it had to be Captain Marvel because it's Captain America. He was the first Avenger. Um, Captain Marvel, because I watched it with some of my best friends and just really good memories. Um, definitely Into the Spider-Verse because it's just, it's so funny and like I could just sit there and watch it for hours. My favorite Marvel movie is Hulk. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Tristan Karen. Thanks, Tristan. I've actually never seen any, any of the Avengers movies. My favorite is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 because of the soundtrack. The music department competed in the State Vocal Music Solo and Small Ensemble Contest on Thursday, April 25th. The students, the following students and groups received gold ratings. The Women's Trio, Men's Trio, dub, Men's Double Quartet, and both mixed du double quartet groups. The band also competed at the State Band Solo Ensemble on April 25th. The following students and groups received gold rating. Emma Heidi, Jacob Kozier, the Flute Quartet, and Mixed Woodwind Trio. trio. If you're looking for more news and information about Florida Sage High School, you can find additional coverage at FOHSSignal.net. There you will find stories about the students and activities of the school, so check it out today. Yearbook distribution will take place during lunch shifts on Friday, May 3rd. If you bought one, it will be waiting for you. There may be additional copies for purchase, and you can check out the concession stand for availability. Well, that's it th for this week's Travel Review. Signing off for the last time, I'm Kelsey Stobart. And I'm Zach Erickson. Thanks for watching.